Hey what's up everyone, this is Wicked Android HD and today I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the latest Slim Lollipop version. So it's called Slim LP and it stands for Lollipop. This is my Samsung GTI 9505 variant says, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to flash it and of course as I always do an overview of it. So uh, here I just wanna show you that I have wiped my data and uh, system before so this is a must uh, if you're coming from uh, <coughs> KitKat or yeah KitKat uh, versions of Android because uh, we're gonna be this RAM is gonna be converting uh, the cache from Dalvik to Art uh, and after you made a wipe after you wiped your your system um, of course, as I always recommend, before wiping a an Android backup, <coughs> sorry, I got a cold. And uh, <coughs> after you made an Android backup, just make sure you have a backup of your current ROM and you've wiped your data. You just go into install zip. If you don't have Field Touch Recovery 6, uh, I put a link in the description on how to flash it. It's a very simple way. Okay, so we're gonna go to external SD card. This is where I put my my uh, ROM, a slim, ca a slim uh, LP ROM. So as you may see here, it's a 502. It stands for Lollipop Alpha. So it's it's an official build, an unofficial build, and we're gonna be pressing yes. Uh, this should uh, should take a while, especially the boot up. The booting up process will take a while because that's where uh, it uh, converts the cache into from Dalvik to Art. Okay, so it has finished. The installation is finished. <coughs> okay, and uh, afterwards you're gonna be flashing GAPS, which stands for Google Apps. GAPS L minimal. I'll put a link in the descri description with uh, both of. Uh, both files, including the ROM and the gaps. Okay, so everything is set up, installing from SD card complete. Now we're gonna be rebooting the system. I'm gonna show you uh, some uh, <coughs> a couple of seconds of the new animation, boot animation, and then I'm gonna be skipping the video to the first boot up. Okay. Here comes the boot, the boot up, the boot animation. Really nice boot animation. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna be getting back to you after after my device boots up. Okay guys, I'm back and this looks pretty well. So, let's dive into settings, let me enter the pin. So, we're gonna change to we're gonna change to English, United States doesn't really matter. So, select Wi-Fi. So, let me connect my Wi-Fi network here. Sorry for the bzz 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 bzz. Uh, let me close this. Okay. I have a long password here, you know. Connect. Connecting. Connected. Checking connection. Really looks damn well. It gets a uh, lollipop, always makes a difference in <coughs> user interface. Okay, so it's it can take up to one minute to check the fucking connection. Okay, yeah, Google software update 
checking for updates. Tap and go. Skip. Just a second. Skip. Skip anyway. Name. So I'm gonna be wicked. Android. We're gonna be putting this trademark sign, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Use Google's location service. No, no, no. Your tablet is set up. Maybe Fable, but no. Tablet. Welcome. Wallpapers, widget, and settings. Got it. So. We're booted up. No screens at all. <laughs> Minimalistic as always. Slim cat. Slim lollipop. Slim LP. So let's uh, dive into these beautiful animations. As you may see. Beautiful, beautiful animations. Okay, so if you're taking a look at this, there's no. There's not much. I don't know how to say it, maybe there's nothing different from an usual lollipop ROM, even if it's ASP or <coughs> Google Edition. But let's dive into settings and see if there's something new. Yes, you may observe there's this, there is a, a personalization path here with quick, quick settings, quick pull down, right edge. So if you scroll from the right edge, you will get all the notification, all the toggles. But if you scroll from this, you won't get them. Smart pull down, nope. Status bar. Clock and date. Let me focus. I think the brightness is a little bit. Uh, oh, sorry, I closed Wi-Fi. <coughs> sorry. What? What is the name of God is this? Turning Wi-Fi on. Connecting. Okay, so clock and date enabled. Alignment, light clock. I like it to be centered. As you may see, it's been centered. AM don't show date. It may be interesting. Small phone size, yes. Or even normal phone size. Just show me that it's Friday. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, clock color, you can change the color. Very status style, icon portrait, icon landscape. What the hell? Okay, circle. As you may see. Dot circle. Text. Hidden. I'll, I'll stick to the stock one because it looks more minimalistic. Brightness control. Adjust brightness by sliding across the status bar. Yes, this is a very interesting feature. Let me dim it a little bit. Okay, this, this looks far away better. Double tap to sleep. Yes, works perfectly. So this is the lock screen. Slide up. Notification ticker. Text animation status bar. Well, this would be interesting. We're gonna check this later. We're gonna send. I'm gonna send myself an SMS. Okay, so there's nothing more complicated here. It's a very early release of uh, Slim LP. But uh, let me send myself a message just to show you. Okay, so let me enter my phone number. Hi. Okay. As you may see, this notification. 
and you can uh, reply you can read it set it uh, set it as read you can call the person who sent you a message so if we're gonna reply to this and say don't know let's see how the notification bar looks when you use uh, okay So let's dive into Bluetooth settings and see if it works. Bluetooth, turn on. Bluetooth seems to be working perfectly. Uh, I don't have a device currently to connect to. So let's see audio FX. Okay. Okay, this this looks very interesting. So it you can tune your your speaker <coughs> equalizer browser let's uh, let's load let's sorry it's really hard to manipulate behind the camera okay, slimlorams.net was default was loaded by default let's uh, get into side map <coughs> okay so the stock uh, multitasking uh, multitasking uh, feature the really behaves very fast as you may see uh, calculator let's dive into camera nope okay let me let me change to front camera yes as you may see hello this is Wick Tandroid <coughs> Lock. Cocking Nora, as James May says. Contact, developing tools, downloads, email, gallery, Google, messaging, phone. Phone looks pretty sick. Let me call a number. Sorry. Really nice animations. Okay. So believe me, this really behaves fast and smooth. I just want to know how to add another screen here. Maybe. You okay, so Slim Launcher. It has its its default launcher. Home, home screen, grid size. Okay. Dog drawer, folder, gesture general, notification badges. Yeah. Okay. And uh, settings. Data usage more. Just to show you default settings. Standard notifications. Display. LCD density. You can set the set this by default. Uh, so. I think the default one for Samsung Galaxy S4 is 480 dpi, so this is set up in, at uh, 400. So that's why the screen the screen looks uh, <coughs> less bigger than uh, it is in real life. So let's get into development settings. And let's just make a speed test. I'm gonna set this at 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Or not, not really. First of all, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how fast animations look. So we're gonna set it to X. Okay. Everything at 2X. So we're gonna press the home button. And now, in, as you may see, how. Okay, I think we're gonna, we have, we have to. Uh, restart the launcher in order to make uh, animations. So as you see how ball is smooth, they look. Well, let's make a speed test right now. And we're gonna go and set it, set them to zero, zero twenty-five. Okay, so we're gonna press. Which means no lag at all, dude. No lag at all.
yeah the lock screen slide right for the dialer slide left for the camera and of course double tap to sleep sorry okay and uh, lock screen disappeared slide up for unlocking so yeah guys that this was the review for an early release for of uh, slim lp slim which stands for lollipop i hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and sub subscribe to my channel um and uh wicked android hd is out bye bye guys